Crafting a Founders Agreement. So you've partnered up with friends or colleagues and are getting ready to launch a new business? If that's the case, it's essential to lay a solid foundation to work together with your co-founders. You can do that by agreeing on and drafting together a Founders Agreement. But what exactly are the technicalities of a Founders Agreement? A Founders Agreement is a legal contract that defines the roles, rights, and responsibilities of each owner in a business. It could be a standalone document or incorporated into corporate bylaws, an LLC operating agreement, or a partnership agreement. Why is it important to have a Founders Agreement? This agreement is designed to protect each founder's interests and to prevent any potential conflict, something that hopefully never occurs with you and your co-founders. If a conflict does take place, the agreement provides a structure for resolving disputes among founders by clarifying each owner's role in the business, shedding light on if and when a partner wants to enter or exit the business, protecting minority owners. Founders agreements are optional, but it's highly recommended you set one as a team as early as possible. What should you include in your founders agreement? Here are some of the main elements you should include in this agreement. Define the business clearly and spell out business name and description, company goals, length of the agreement's validity, introduce the co-founders and their responsibilities, roles and responsibilities of each co-founder, define the roles and responsibilities of each of the co-founders, management and legal decision-making, operating, and approval rights. Will you be assigning voting rights based on a shareholder's percentage interests? or will you limit voting rights to certain groups? Salaries, compensation, and funding. State these for current circumstances and work on a compensation plan that accounts for future growth. Detail how co-founders should use company money, who will be in charge of investments or debt. Equity breakdown. Determine the proportion of equity ownership of each of the co-founders. Take into consideration factors such as the monetary investment, experience, existing intellectual property, etc. Vesting schedule. This structure will detail how the shares will be taken up by the founder over time. The vesting could be time-based or milestone-based. Intellectual property, IP assignment. Outline the process and timeline for your IP being sold, including decision rights and sales profit sharing. Exit clauses. Exit clauses, removal or departure of founders. Detail what would happen should a founder leave or be fired. Other shareholders can notably have the option to buy out that partner's interests through buyout rights, outline price and payout terms. Dissolution and termination clauses. Plan for the circumstances or events that could lead to your company dissolution and asset distribution if your company dissolves. Dispute resolution procedures. Outline the dispute resolution mechanism you want to adopt, such as binding arbitration. As founders, you can draft a simple founders agreement on your own, or also call on a business lawyer or online legal service to help you create one if you find that there are elements that already require legal input. Regardless, do have your agreement reviewed by a lawyer because it is legally binding in the long term. Having this agreement in place will save you time and prevent major headaches in times of conflict. Ultimately, it will signal your commitment and business acumen to investors undertaking due diligence on your business.